Science 4. Effects of Force on Objects Objectives At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Explain what force and motion mean Describe what force can do to an object And Identify the effects of force applied to an object Look around you You can see people and things moving Have you ever wondered what makes things move? People and things move because of force Force is the push or a pull that acts on an object due to its interaction with another object it can be measured using a device called a force meter or a spring balance. A spring balance contains a spring connected to a metal hook. When a force is applied to the hook, the spring stretches. The greater the force you apply, the longer the stretch of the spring and the greater the reading on the device. The unit of force is called Newton. When force is applied to an object, it may cause a change in it, either in its movement, shape, or the direction to which it is moving. Motion is defined as the movement in different directions. Force can make objects at rest, move. For example, a boy pushes a cart to make it move. He exerts force on the cart. The cart that was pushed with greater force moved faster than the one with the same mass, but was pushed with a smaller amount of force. Force can also make moving objects stop. For example, a running car stops moving when it crashes into a big tree. The position and mass of the tree allow the tree to exert enough force to stop the car. Force can change the speed of a moving object. It can make objects move slower or faster. For example, the strong current of flowing water carries the raft forward and makes it move faster on the river. Acceleration is when the motion increases its speed. Another example, is air moving against a running person, which slows down the person's movement. Deceleration, is when the motion slows down or decreases its speed. Likewise, friction on a rough road may slow down the movement of a vehicle. Friction is the force produced when two surfaces rub against each other. Force can also change the direction of moving objects. For example, the boy changes the direction of a moving ball by hitting it. The boy exerts a pushing force on the ball. Force can change the shape of an object. Applying force to an object may change the object's shape. For example, force is applied when molding clay. Another example is the hammering done on an iron bar. A baker kneading a dough applies force and changes the shape of the dough. Force can change the size of an object. Applying force to an object can change its size. This can be demonstrated by squeezing a sponge, pushing down a spring, molding clay into pots, and kneading dough to make bread. The amount of force exerted on an object affects the amount of change in the object. The greater the amount of force that is applied to an object, the greater the decrease in the size of the object will be. For example, squeezing the sponge with both hands, stronger force, makes the sponge smaller than when it is squeezed with just one hand, weaker force. A certain kind of force attracts people and objects to the ground. Even if you throw an object up in the air, it will come down because of gravity or the force that pulls two objects toward each other. Gravity is the force that pulls objects toward the center of Earth. It is the force that keeps Earth revolving around the Sun. It is the reason why you do not float on Earth. Gravity causes the leaves of trees to fall off when the wind blows on them. Gravity causes a ball that you have thrown up in the air to come down. To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. In the following situations, identify the changes by which the object or person undergoes when force is applied. The mother caught in her arms, the baby who fell from the bed. The answer is a change in movement. Water from a waterfall, breaks the rocks below it into smaller pieces. 
The answer is a change in shape and size. The player hits the billiard ball with the stick. The answer is a change in direction. The athlete exerted more effort to run faster and reach the goal before the time. The answer is a change in speed. A soccer ball on the ground moves after a boy kicks it. The answer is made an object at rest move. Good job, kids!